For nearly five decades, Voyager 2 has been silently gliding through the vast emptiness of space. Launched in 1977, it was built to last just a few years, tasked with a flyby mission to the outer planets. Yet it has defied all expectations, crossing into interstellar space and continuing to transmit faint whispers back to Earth. These transmissions are usually filled with data about cosmic radiation, solar winds, and the temperature of space beyond our solar bubble. But recently, a signal emerged unlike any that had come before. One that has ignited deep concern and curiosity among scientists at NASA. It wasn't just the presence of a signal that surprised them. It was the structured pattern hidden within it, an intentional sequence that seemed more than a mere anomaly. Something, or someone, had altered the signal in a way that suggested intelligence. Voyager 2, drifting alone in a place no other human-made object has ventured with such clarity, may have encountered something unexpected. It began as a minor glitch. A brief interruption in the telemetry, dismissed initially as interference from cosmic rays or aging equipment. But then the patterns returned, recurring with startling regularity. The pulse wasn't random static. It was rhythmic, mathematical. Scientists compared it to a code, binary clusters grouped in intervals that hinted at an underlying message. Some speculated it might be a malfunction, the spacecraft's aging computer systems looping through corrupted code. Yet further analysis ruled out hardware error. What remained was the unsettling possibility that the signal was being influenced externally, possibly by an intelligent force. And if this was true, then Voyager 2 had either passed through, or come into proximity with, something that could recognize and interact with its instruments. The coordinates where this signal shift was first detected lie far beyond the heliopause, the boundary where the solar wind from our sun ceases to dominate. Beyond that is interstellar space a realm filled with faint plasma and the silent drift of cosmic particles. Voyager 2 had entered this region in 2018, becoming only the second object from Earth to do so. It now travels through a place so cold and empty that even light from nearby stars takes years to become visible. So, what could exist there that might have the capacity to detect and respond to Voyager's tiny radio transmissions? Some at NASA speculated about dense regions of interstellar plasma behaving unpredictably. Others entertained bolder theories, including the possibility of alien intelligence or advanced probes operating within the darkness. Interestingly, Voyager 2's instruments have recorded subtle fluctuations in magnetic fields, disturbances not present before the anomaly began. These shifts are too structured to be dismissed as random. They appear to be moving with the craft, as though it has entered a field of influence unlike any encountered before. When comparing this to Voyager 1's data, which is also drifting in interstellar space, the contrast becomes even more intriguing. Voyager 1's instruments remain quiet and stable. But Voyager 2 seems to have wandered into something unknown, a space not marked on any cosmic map. It's worth remembering that Voyager 2 carries with it the famous golden record, a copper disc containing sounds and images selected to portray the diversity of life and culture on Earth. Encoded on the record are greetings in 55 languages, music from across the globe, and diagrams that describe the location of our planet in relation to pulsars in our galaxy. Could it be that this message has finally been found? Perhaps something, or someone, capable of detecting and decoding electromagnetic signals found Voyager 2's greeting and decided to respond in kind. If so, what kind of entity could be capable of doing so from such a vast distance? And more importantly, why now? NASA has not officially confirmed any extraterrestrial contact. Their statements remain measured, citing the need for further analysis and cautioning against jumping to conclusions. But within the scientific community, discussions have taken on a more speculative tone. Some researchers are reanalyzing older data to check for overlooked anomalies while others are building models to understand what kind of signal structure would be required to mimic the one Voyager 2 has sent. The sheer improbability of such a signal arising by chance is driving deeper inquiry. Among the most compelling aspects is the timing. Why would this structured signal only appear now, nearly 50 years into the mission, after the probe has already passed all known celestial bodies? This raises a possibility. 
What if Voyager 2 entered a zone in space that is not entirely natural? Could there be artificial structures or dormant probes, placed in interstellar space long ago, waiting to be triggered by the passage of an object like Voyager? Further complicating matters, recent signal strength graphs showed brief surges in transmission power. Not enough to alter Voyager systems, but just enough to hint that something was amplifying its message before it reached Earth. Naturally, the first thought is a cosmic lensing effect, where gravity warps the path of radio waves, strengthening them. But calculations showed no nearby stellar bodies that could cause such an effect. Could this be evidence of a more directed or intelligent amplification? If Voyager 2 is being used as a communication relay, whether knowingly or not, it suggests that whoever or whatever is interacting with it understands both radio frequencies and Earth's electromagnetic signaling. Imagine the implications. A civilization advanced enough to detect, decode, and respond to Voyager's signal would not just be watching, they would be capable of engineering interactions across interstellar distances. Some scientists now speculate that interstellar space may not be as empty as we thought. Perhaps it holds dormant artifacts, ancient beacons, or observation devices waiting silently for something to pass by. If so, Voyager 2's signal anomaly could be the result of such a device awakening. Others are more cautious. They remind us of the complex interactions between magnetic fields and plasma clouds in space. The universe is vast, and not all unexplained phenomena are necessarily the result of intelligent design. Yet even skeptics admit that Voyager 2's recent behavior is unlike anything recorded before. The pattern within the signal resembles early attempts at encryption. It has internal structure, hierarchy, and redundancy, traits often associated with communication, not noise. Back on Earth, the Deep Space Network, the system of giant radio antennas that listen for signals from probes across the solar system, has been upgraded to keep continuous watch on Voyager 2. Engineers have created enhanced filters to isolate the new pattern from background noise, and AI models are now being trained to detect any further changes in the signal. The hope is to decipher its structure and potentially respond. But this is a dangerous proposition. Some warn that sending a reply into the unknown could have consequences. We do not yet understand what we are dealing with. Is it curiosity that drives this interaction? Or observation? Or something else? All of this has reinvigorated discussions about the future of interstellar exploration. If Voyager 2 has truly made contact, whether passive or active, then what lies beyond may not be silent void, but a theater of ancient forces and technologies that predate us by eons. Maybe our galaxy is not a lonely place. Maybe it is filled with signals that we have not yet learned to hear. Voyager the second of may have stumbled upon the first of them. If this is the case, then our understanding of space will need to be rewritten. We are not just observers of the cosmos, we are participants in it. As the signal continues, scientists grow increasingly aware that they stand at the edge of a great unknown. Every new transmission from Voyager 2 could hold a piece of a puzzle far beyond our current understanding. This little spacecraft, hurtling through the dark, may have opened a door not just into interstellar space, but into something much larger the true network of intelligence that spans the stars. And if that's the case, then this is not just a signal. It is a whisper from the void, a voice calling out across the ages, waiting for someone to finally listen.